this poem, this poem is for the black men. The AR-15 in the left hand as the right shears through curtain, through curtain shears to the protectors. When will that word be used as a verb to the, by any means necessary? Well, not necessarily this. It's not a poem to uplift, but to hold us to accountability toying. We have sheep clothing failed you. We have black lives mattered at times. You, you stood in the gap took punches on both cheeks and then fought back. You have a shoving spirit of resistance even when we prove to be chauvinistic. Where's the outrage behind your death? Of this stark irony, black women be the first in line on the front lines, lines stretched out like lines stretched out like Sunday's best, stressing out their beloved backbones while we be the ones to lay the charge or even better to follow ours even through their own backup and they exclaim, they profess to be their rock, but we are also their hard place. Black women die at a similar rate of law enforcement as we do. So when they are chanting, we can't breathe, they're not just aiming those words at the police. Behind every black man's death, there is an army of black women being battered by our behalf and they are still fighting for us and what we give them is half. So this is for black men, all black men, to stand in the gap and to protect black women even if it's from other black men. Toyin, we didn't deserve to be murdered by skin that resembles yours. We don't deserve them or you, but from us, you deserve so much more. You gave up arms, banners, shields, and swords. Toyin, Toyin, you said you can never be silent. So May I, could I, please amplify your reverb because it's not enough to say your name.